This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. Australia descended to a new low as a same-sex marriage bill has passed the Parliament's lower house. The House bill complements the Senate bill passed recently. Some called it a great win for Australian values, while Malcolm Turnbull, the Prime Minister, openly spoke of more love for all Australians as the rainbow flag was raised in Canberra. Labor marriage equality spokeswoman Terry Butler said people who may have been engaged for years could finally realize their hopes to one day be married. They can now finally join the institution from which they have been excluded for far too long, she said. I am proud today that we have, as a parliament, acted to remove discrimination, and I certainly look forward to many, many weddings to come. Gay liberal MP Tim Wilson said people had seen parliament and the nation at their finest. People came together and made the case for change. And the beauty of this outcome is that everybody owns the result. Every single Australian, because they had the choice to fill out the survey form and to tell the parliament what they wanted it to do. And we have gone on to honor that, and it is a fantastic outcome for everybody in this great nation. Today, this is a strong message to every kid that is questioning their sexual orientation or gender identity that you do not have to be afraid, that when you look to the nation's parliament, to our sporting heroes, and to the values that underpin this country, that you can be what you see. You see a country that is forward-looking, modern, and embracing the idea that everybody has a place at our nation's table. This is a great win for Australian values, said Dean Smith, senator from Western Australia. People can be proud that over the last few weeks they have seen the best of their parliament, the best of their parliamentarians. As I said before, the real challenge going forward is to think about how we can do this more often, how we can put the politics and partisanship aside. Imagine how heaven must view Australia as it transforms itself into a legal Sodom. A sharply divided parliament on partisan issues on a day-by-day -day basis has united together in order to pass this ungodly piece of legislation. It reminds us of the months leading up to and launching the French Revolution. Those who celebrate the change in law will one day have to meet the judge of all the earth. Same-sex marriage campaigner Alex Greenwich said love had finally conquered. Marriage equality is finally the law of the land, and we are so proud of Australia. We are so proud of the LGBTQI community. We are so proud of our parliament for bringing together people across the political aisle, making people happy, and doing something amazing, he said. What kind of love is she talking about? And what kind of pride is involved here? This is a victory for all of Australia. The world was watching, and our parliament delivered. So thank you, Greenwich added. Leader of the House Christopher Pine says he is against the proposed amendment to protect religion because it is based on a false premise. He said the bill in no way derogates the practice of religion, making the amendment unnecessary. It should not include superfluous amendments that do nothing other than prevent something which I think is a myth, said Payne. Mr. Payne obviously either doesn't support religious freedom or he doesn't understand the gay agenda to crush religious dissent. Crossbench MP Bob Catter said people should be very suspicious that every amendment has been rejected. Every single effort to protect religious freedom has been denigrated in here today. Once you get a stampede on, it is a brave man who stands in front of it, he said. I would like to ask the Christians in Australia to remember not one time did the parliament protect them today. MP George Christensen said there has been cheering from the gallery for the erosion of religious liberty. The public gallery then cheered and let out a round of applause. Liberal MP Sarah Henderson tried to move a final amendment to the House bill and argued that there should be more protection for civil celebrants and a provision which ensures that nothing in the same-sex marriage bill would prevent someone from carrying out their religious beliefs. Her efforts were defeated. The public galleries were jammed with observers who clapped whenever amendments were proposed and defeated, including one amendment that read like this. Whilst not declining to give the bill a second reading, the House notes that it is vital that individuals and entities are not disadvantaged nor suffer any adverse effects as a result of conscientiously holding a particular view of the nature of marriage.
Today will be a day we look back on and be one of those days you remember, said Tanya Plibersek, member of the lower house, while revealing she would not support the final amendment. By the end of today, Australia will be a better, kinder, fairer place for all of us, she added. Soon love will prevail and it will be your victory and I hope you will enjoy it. When the final amendment was voted down, the public galleries erupted. The sheer blindness of the Australian Parliament and people is astounding. They're mostly secular and have no understanding of God, and they would have to look carefully at the gay agenda to understand that not all Australians are protected by the new law. Moreover, they have an Australia that will tolerate their convictions. Those with conscientious objections to supporting the gay lifestyle will find it much less fair for them. Likewise also as it was in the days of Sodom. Luke 17, 28. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching. Thank you.